So hello. Um, I've just collimated my Dotsonian with a laser collimator. But I'm not really so sure it's collimated properly. Now the inside is dead on. There's no mistaking that. The red dot goes straight down in, in, in the center of the little circle in there. Now these lasers are pretty accurate. I've, I've tested them to see how accurate they were and you can go online and find out how to test the laser to find out how accurate it is. The problem is the collimation process up here isn't very accurate. As you can see I'm collimated but if I mess around with this knob here it shows I'm off the collimation. And if I loosen the knob a lot it shows I'm way off on collimation. It's just too much going on up here. Now I prefer the two inch uh, adapter when collimating because let me show you why when I go to this one and a quarter uh -oh. uh, it's way off because it has two knobs to tighten with now and as you can see it's it's way off it's way off of collimation and you could literally play with these knobs until you get your, your device collimated. You know, it's there's too much wiggle in here. It's just, it doesn't fit properly. That's why I go with the two inch adapter when collimating my particular telescope with this laser. Now I recommend making a collimation cap and going with that process over the, the lasers because as you can see even the 2 inch adapter has way too much wiggle room to, to properly collimate and there, there's two knobs down here so bam I'm collimated and I haven't even I just stuck it in there but I can play with these knobs a little and, and, and lose collimation you know way off collimation so if you set your your device up and it's way off how do you know for sure it's way off. So your best bet would to be to shy away from these laser collimators as they're not as accurate as one would hope. Now this is a $30 SVBONY. So it's not a high-end laser collimator, but it's still very, very accurate. So yeah, I would shy against laser collimators and go against uh, or go with the uh, collimation cap process and you can learn online how to do that and uh, there's several other techniques that you can use to learn how to collimate your telescope and you don't have to waste 30 to 50 to 60 dollars on a laser thank you